for the latest information. And some of the best combat flyers in the world have trained right here at Nellis in Red Flag. A special celebration ahead. I'm Dave Provostier. Also coming up at 4, High Tech brings the internal human body to the TV okay, screen. For band members of El Dorado High School. The four tour buses the students were riding on became part of a chain reaction accident in California. You're seeing first video out of the scene, first on three. The crash happened around 10.30 this morning. The California Highway Patrol says 27 people injured, one critically. As far as we know, none are seriously hurt from El Dorado High School. The injured were taken to five area hospitals. The remaining kids went to the Walnut Valley High School, about five miles from the accident. Now, if you take a look at this map, the accident happened outside of Pomona, California, on westbound Highway 60. That's about 40 miles north of Los Angeles. About an hour ago, we talked with a spokesman from the Walnut Valley School District, and here's what he had to say. Approximately 11 o'clock this morning, there was an accident on the Pomona Freeway, uh, which is the Interstate 60, involving uh, students at El Dorado High School in Las Vegas. Uh, the California Highway Patrol uh, then contacted at the Walnut Valley Unified School District uh, Transportation Department and asked that if we might be able to provide four buses to transport the students uh, from the accident scene and uh, house them on an interim basis until such time as the pieces could be sorted out. Uh, so uh, immediately we dispatched four buses, uh, brought the approximately 154 students to uh, Walnut High School, which was uh, approximately five miles from the accident site. and. Uh, Immediately, uh, the Food Services Department of Walnut High School and, and uh, the neighboring Diamond Bar High School uh, went to work and uh, created uh, lunch for them. And uh, we provided them with lunch and a chance to uh, uh, kind of gather their thoughts and calm their nerves. And uh, right now, all of them are busy uh, waiting in line to call home and let their uh, worried parents know that uh, they're okay. I think uh, they have some frazzled nerves, but I think probably the general mood is one of relief, and I think they're very grateful that it, it could have been worse and uh, wasn't. Uh, the, the injuries, as we understand, are very minor, uh, bumps and bruises types things, and uh, we're in anticipation of getting word from the, the various hospitals. I think they use five different hospitals to transport, uh, uh, I think, 24 uh, members of the party to that, uh, to those various hospitals, and uh, hope most of them are probably going to be released this evening. Now, if you have any questions about your child, El Dorado High School has set up an information number. You can call it at 799-7200, extension 211. Yeah, and that line might be a little bit busy, I would suppose, so you might want to try again if you don't get through the first time. Obviously, though, the friends and family of the El Dorado band members are pretty shook up about this. And our own Laura Garcia is out of the school right now with reaction. Laura? Dave, as you can imagine, it was quite a scene here this afternoon. There were quite a few very worried parents, but if you look behind me right now, it's all pretty calm. Most of the students have gone home for the day hours ago, in fact, most of them without even knowing what happened to their classmates. But those who did know were quite shaken up. There was one woman who was here earlier in the day, a young woman, who was absolutely in tears. Her mother was here, and she was saying, Mom, Mom, I should have been on that bus. Mom, I was supposed to be on that bus. Turns out at the last minute, she decided not to go on the trip and stay behind to compete in a cross-country track meet. So she was one of the lucky ones, but she's obviously very worried about her classmates, as are many other people. Now, the school district is telling me that of the injured, there, the school bus students were not seriously injured. That one critical injury you've been hearing about was not one of the El Dorado students. There are four buses that are currently bringing those 150 students back to Las Vegas. They should arrive here at El Dorado High School at about 7 o'clock tonight. We'll have more local reaction and hear from a couple of the students on News 3 at 5. For now, I'm Laura Garcia reporting live at El Dorado High School. All right. Uh, thank you, Laura. And in just a few minutes, we'll go live to Pomona from the accident scene with the very latest. Uh, but uh, in the meantime, we have just received word from officials at Walnut High School in Southern California. That's where the El Dorado students involved in the accident have been waiting all afternoon. The 200-plus students are now boarding the KT buses right about now, getting ready to head back to Las Vegas. Now, because of Friday night traffic in South uh, California, they aren't expected to arrive at El Dorado High until probably after 9 tonight. All the students will be returning on the buses, and News 3 will be there as well. We'll have a live report tonight on our 11 o'clock news. And this is not the first serious accident for KT Services. Just a month ago, on October 2nd, a KT Services bus lost control and ran off the road at Indian Springs in U.S. 95. It was carrying workers home from the... The site of the accident with the latest, Doug. 
Well, actually, I'm at Walnut High School in Los Angeles County, where the students from El Dorado High School were taken right after the accident. In fact, they were taken here. Most of them were given lunch. They were uh, calmed down, given some counseling. And actually, they just left here about 20 minutes ago, heading back in the direction of Las Vegas. Now, as I understand it, the plan is they are going to go to area hospitals where the kids who are injured will be boarding the buses or taken on the buses. And then they're going to go to the old buses that they took and get their luggage and bags, instruments, everything else. And then finally, they'll be heading back to Las Vegas sometime this evening. That's the latest word we're getting. Now, most of the kids seem to be in good spirits. It was truly a terrifying, traumatic day for the teenagers involved in this accident. But most of them seem to be getting over it. The curse of it all is they came to Southern California this weekend to have a good time. Now they're heading back without ever having, getting to compete in that marching band competition. But most of them we hear are in good shape. Nobody's so seriously injured, we're told, that they'll have to remain back here in L.A. Reporting live from Walnut, Doug Kriegel, back to you in Las Vegas. It sounds like officials there really did a good job trying to take care of them and calm them down. Were you able to see any of the students as they went into the school or at the scene to see exactly how upset they were? I'm sure parents would like to know that they were being calmed down. Yes, they were. Actually, at the scene, there was a certain amount of panic and chaos. No doubt about that. Although some of the kids in buses that weren't rammed very hard were just kind of standing around doing what teenagers do, joking. But when they got here to Walnut High School, uh, they were taken into a gymnasium, they were fed, uh, they were talked to, and they were treated very calmly. And uh, uh, a lot of the chaperones and parents along on the trip were helping them and talking to their, uh, their kids and uh, all the students. So everyone seems to be in a pretty pleasant mood now that they finally departed and everything is over. All right. Thank you so much. It must be comforting for the parents that are here to hear that right now, yes. anyway. Uh, yeah, I met some of those kids just a couple of weeks ago. I was over there at the high school to cut a promotional announcement with some of the band members. They oh, were so excited gosh. about going on this trip, and I'm sure it is a disappointment that they oh, came back sure. without competing, but at least they're all in, in one Safe piece shape. Now. Yeah. Still ahead on First News 3 at there was a, a gold car in between the two buses. The gold car was sandwiched, and there was a man and wife.